One. Hi, personal trainer Sam Strain here. Thanks for tuning in or watching. This installment or segment is about a simple thing. How to stretch your lower back while sitting on the resistance ball. Can't get any easier than that. I turn sideways to give you this viewpoint. Hopefully you've been working on the ball a little bit and you've, you're comfortable and stable. We want to start right into the center of the ball, an area where you feel comfortable bouncing up and down, not going to go to the left or the right, forward, back. No panicky or jerky movements. As always, we want to be fluid here. If you notice, I'm on a nice hardwood floor surface. I have my socks and shoes off. My feet will serve as the sticky so-called substance to stop me from sliding forward. So if you have your shoes on and you're on a carpet, you might want to take your shoes off or maybe put on some socks or something that's going to allow you to stop yourself as you move forward. Because the feet are the brakes when you're on the ball. So, here we go. I'm going to do a nice lower back stretch. I'm going to take one step back with my left leg. I'm going to take another step back. Actually, this is the left leg. The other one must be the right leg. I'm going to roll the ball back. And as I do that, I'm just going to lean forward. Oh, yeah. Now, you can assist this if you had any sort of herbal steam pack or just a hot towel, some water, ring it, microwave it, plastic bag, put it right here on top of your t-shirt, you've got nice moist heat. And now as you can see, I'm just extending my back, I'm going to reach out with the arm, so I'm pulling it from the top all the way through the back with my arms, and I'm pulling it from the lower back as I roll the ball back. And now I'm just going to ease myself up nice and slow, going through the entire back. You see the ball is moving forward, bringing myself up. I step forward one, I step forward two, and now I'm just going to lean myself back. The ball is rolling right in front of me, and I'm going to stop right there. I transition from the front to the back. I'm using the abdominals right now to support me. And I take another deep breath. Toe, toe, push back, raise the body up, step back, step back. And if you notice, I'm pretty wide on the ball. I'm going to turn myself now and give you another point of view. I'm purposely wide with my feet on the ball so I can step to the sides of the ball and really roll it back and get that extension. Ah, stretch, extension, lengthen, all the same thing. And that's what we want to do with the lower back. Oh, yeah. And I got to tell you something. Feel free to just get in one position. Stay there for as long as you like. None of the things that I do require any sort of rapid pace and or movement. These movements are designed to strengthen, to lengthen, and to calm the body down. So let's just get into the moment. Let's just enjoy this. Release that tension. Look at how low I've come down to the ball. Now take a deep breath. For those of you that want a little bit of a challenge, reach out with your arms first. Lift yourself up with your hands. Really put a little bit of pressure on that lower back as you step forward and step forward. In the next installment, we're going to work this one for you. It's part of what I teach in a class called Congo Core. Pelvic rotation. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Sam Strain. See you next.